Thank you, God, for this new day on this earth. You know, I'm up early today. It's about 9 a.m. And my boxers are falling. Um, I'm up early and I was like, you know what? Let me plug in my camera right now because I was thinking like I could chill out a little bit, but this is the difference between having my camera being fully charged or not. So I'm like, girl, get your camera fully charged, you know? because that's very important to me. My priority for today is to do well on my exam for business, um, organizational behavior or something like that. So I'ma do it, I'ma do it right. And I'ma, like the essay questions that I didn't focus on, I'ma figure that out. You know, the other stuff I do know, like the other, material i can kind of guess it hopefully it's not open-ended hopefully it's um multiple choice because then i'm good and then um i gotta figure out whether we gotta have like a scantron or not because i don't have a scantron and i don't want to just buy one just in case and then not use it but i should do that anyway there are like 60 cents so i think it's worth it i'm gonna head to the store right now let me get ready real quick not me farting before I click record. Um, so here's the thing. Whoa, we got to 100 views. Okay, we're a little over, I mean, underexposed. We got to 100 views on, oh, alarm. We got to 100 views, y'all, on my Can't Stop Loving You slow pitch down lyric video. And I was thinking a while ago when we were at 80 something views, I was like, what if this is my come up? What if this is my brain taking me to the place I know where I should be with pinpoint precision? What if I finally believe that my success is mine? Okay, I said mine weird, like I have like an accent or something from like the Northeast or like from South Dakota um anyway so like what if what if i really believe that success is mine and so i get it why do i say mine like that what the f in isolation it sounds so weird um what if i believe that success is mine no matter what i say it like that hmm interesting um okay what if i really believe it's mine because i think that like this is a good this is a good thing this is a good thing Imagine my moment, my moment. I just refreshed my phone and I got two additional views. Imagine if like manifestation, like the moment you believe it, you get what you want. Like imagine if maybe it doesn't take years to manifest something or like to see yourself in a certain image. What if you could just instantly see, girl, why are they honking or whatever? Um, imagine if you could just instantly see yourself as like your most ideal self and just transform into that in like one day. I'm sure that some people can do that, but it's the journey that makes you equipped and stronger to like, you know, do things. And for some people, their journey, I guess it's different. Like maybe some people who win opportunities or get lucky, like maybe their luck is because they've been able to learn different things in different ways and it might not present like um, as if they like prepared for a certain uh, like outcome, but some people have like worked really hard in different ways and they attain, they attain riches or wealth or opportunity. And then um, they're able, it's for them, you know what I mean? And they're able to do it because they learned maybe like Maybe like um, how some people do acting their whole lives and then they get a music career. They manifested it and they believe it and they're aligned with that. Just because they did another career doesn't mean that they got lucky in music. That just means that the work was put in one way or another because it's all entertainment. It's 9.43 a.m. and you know, my camera isn't fully charged, but it's charged enough. So I'm gonna head to school already. You would think, like I, I said to you guys that let me scoot back, it's a tiny bit overexposed. I told you guys that my priority today was my exam, okay? But based on my behavior right now, I think my priority was my eyebrows. 
And let me tell you, also, envisioning my moment, my moment, who's gonna interview me? Not Diane Sawyer. I was thinking Diane Sawyer, but Diane Sawyer is 2020, okay? I'm thinking Good Morning America, and what is the, what is it called? Uh, the other show, the one that's just like Good Morning America. Um, hmm. Can you guys help me guess? Ah, Good Morning America, GMA. Um, the other one, I don't know what the other one is called. Oh, I forgot. The Today Show, duh. The Today Show. So, I'm thinking of my moment where I'm like, you know what? Not everyone, and I was going to say fantasizing, but no, it's envisioning because this is not a fantasy, boo. This is real. So, I'm just like, wait, let me zoom in a little. Fixes the exposure, duh. Okay. So, I'm like thinking, I'm thinking... Well, Diane, uh, I'm still thinking Diane Sawyer. Um, you know, not everyone is able to be that girl. Not everyone is able to afford it. A lot of people have to work nine to fives. And um, so for me, not even I was able to afford it for, for um, basically all of my life up until now because I had to crowdsource that attention. I had to metaphorically save the money. I had to put money away and save up money. Um, essentially what I mean is I had to crowdsource attention and um, prepare myself to be equipped to handle that attention so that when opportunity came I would be able to do it and I would be able to provide that service for my family of um, providing for them because they were overlooked for so long and they went without being listened to for so many uh, you know decades or generations and now it's my turn to say, wait a minute, I'll be a voice for us and people who, you know, were like us and um, people who, you know, just us, you know what I mean? Like, I'll speak for us. I'll be a voice for the voiceless. And they're not voiceless, but they gave me this voice, you know, that I have today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so here's the thing. Here's the thing. So... Yeah, um, what if I really, like, what if this is my moment? And the reason why I say that is because I, I refreshed my YouTube and there was 105 views, I think. Imagine I refresh it and it's the same. No, I think, or was it 104? I don't know. Um, but no, I'm really ready for this moment. I mean, even, even doing this vlog has showed me the momentum that, like, like, all of a sudden, I have prepared for this and all of a sudden... Like, boom, you know what I mean? You got, like, boom. Like, all this improvement real quick, boo. You know what I mean? And I'm thankful. And it's like, put me in front of a 4K camera and see me act up. Watch me act up. Don't get me... I mean, what is it called? Don't get caught slipping in 4K. Get caught serving in 4K. Okay, well, anyway. I have my test, and I didn't even poop. And right now, my sock was way too tight on my left foot. Um, I didn't poop. I don't have toilet paper, but I don't think I need to poop. If I try to fart, I don't know. Even just thinking of it, it's a laxative. It's a laxative effect thinking of whether I need to poop or not. So I'm going to go to the store, the library bookstore, because I need to buy toilet paper. Yes, I do. And a Scantron. And some chips. Some chips, boo. I have $10 left in my cash app card. And, um, yeah. I mean, I have, like, a fear of getting my card declined or whatever, like, whenever I have that much money, but if, like, in only one card, but if that were to happen, I mean, I could just text my mom, thankfully, you know what I mean, and she'll, she'll spot me in the moment, but then how do I pay her back? Boo, how do I pay her back? Let me fix my eyebrow real quick. Real quack. I'm a, I'm a duck. How do I fix it real quack? Uh, uh, uh. What what kind of noise do ducks make for real? Quack quack. There's no way they say Q U A C K. There ain't no way, boo. They probably make like a uh, uh, like a little alarm sound. How cute. Okay, let me go to class. I mean, I'm early, but like, let me go and study. Like, boo, I gotta study. Period. Per. Per. You know what I forgot to do today or to wear today? I was gonna say, you know what we forgot to wear today, but no, you probably didn't forget. I forgot to wear deodorant, my coconut lime spray from Hollister, and my other, sp the perfume, and then my other spray from um, Bath and Body Works, the clean slate one, so. 
Yep. And then another thing that I said a while ago was like, imagine if the views are the same. No. W let's imagine what if the views get to a million? What if the views get to 1.1 B billion? It could happen. Um, I don't know how, but it would. Ha it could happen. Nearly eight dollars. Seven dot seventy nine. Dang, it says 4.99 there, but that's for a different brand. For Scott, it's 7.79. Whoa. I guess I'm going to just have to, um, what is it called? Take uh, napkins from the restroom for now. Yes, take napkins from the restroom. I wanted to say the S word, S-T, but I was like, I'm not saying that in a store. There's no way. There's no way, boo. Okay, how cute is that? The little birdie. Not to be confused with Angry Birds, but so cute. I'm not gonna get the RX bar because that girl, laxative effect. I'll just leave it at that. So TBH, I don't even know if I need a Scantron for this exam, but just in case I got two, you know, service to humanity, yes, uh, yes, LOL. Um, I mean, I always get two just in case someone needs one because you know just like the other day when i didn't have a paper like a loose leaf sheet of paper i was able to ask aj and she was able to give it to me and so i always have extra scantrons but right now i didn't want to buy like the six pack of scantrons because you know last time they kind of went to waste i didn't really use them so this time i just bought two one for me and one for someone else if they need it uh, also, the RX bars, they're not vegan. They have um, egg ingredients in them. They have eggs in them, egg whites. So if I were to eat that, it would give me diarrhea. And the effing, well, it wouldn't give me diarrhea. It would just make me poop. And I can't incite that right now. And then another thing is the toilet paper from Scott, that brand, I think it's like 4 or $5 at the store, like the, the store store. But here it was $7.79. So I was like, you know what? That's not a smart budgetary decision right now. Um, also, budgeting time. I didn't really budget time for um, for studying because it's already like, let me check the time to be uh, certain what time it is. It's 10, 19 um, a.m. And you know what? I have class in 40 minutes. But here's the thing. The animations in iOS 17 for Shazam, they're really pretty and impressive. It's very Apple-like. Honestly, it's very, it's giving Apple, you know, because I feel like there were a lot more animations in the past. Um, you know, just like even throwing a little item in the trash can, didn't it have like a piece of dust or something like that on the Mac? Um, Apple, and then the little shiny little sparkly thing or whatever, when the, when the, when the song comes up from Shazam, that is something that used to be, or it is in GarageBand when you're using the touch effects in GarageBand, so... I think that's really cool. One more thing, I'm gonna keep this video brief, but I just wanna say that Kylie Minogue, like her song, um, ah, dang, what is it called? What What I Do For Love or something like that. It's on her new album, Tension. Honestly, um, I needed to re-record this part because the other day I recorded this and the video was so blurry, so I didn't get to explain this, but I think it's a really beautiful feeling to see that Kylie Minogue is still making music. She's very active in making music right now, and I think she's like 55, and I think that the reason why that's very important is because um, one of the first videos that I saw on TV was love at first sight i specifically remember that and can't get you out of my head it's one of the first videos i saw too i know that because those videos were alongside each other um a lot on mtv um they were played in tandem with each other and they were also songs that were just very popular when i was little like 2001 2002 ish uh so i was like five or six and um love at first sight it had a melancholic feel to me and it kind of scared me the video kind of scared me a little bit but i remember watching it on mtv on the square tv at my grandma stella's house in our room that me my dad my brother and my mom shared and you know um to see that she's still an active entertainer is really a beautiful thing to see her age 
um, beautifully and to see that she's still an active entertainer, it gives me a lot of motivation because I was a very little kid when I saw those videos. Some of the first music videos that I ever saw on TV. Yes, I did see earlier music videos like TLC and, um, you know, Britney Spears and Ricky Martin and Shakira, but um, Kylie Minogue was definitely in the group of people who I saw like one of the earliest music videos uh, some of the earliest music videos that I saw. Again, not the earliest, but some of the earliest music videos I saw that I could clearly remember watching was Love at First Sight on MTV. And to see that she's still an active entertainer, I know I keep saying it like a broken record, but no. If I had to replay something and say something again and again, it is affirming that um, Kylie Minogue creating music today is so inspiring and, and motivational because it makes me feel like, okay, I'm not too old to do this. Um, I shouldn't feel that. I'm 27. But, you know, sometimes we think music is a young person's game only. But I have a lot of experience and a lot of stories to tell. Um, and I think that had I been younger, um, you know, maybe it would have been so overwhelming to be like, uh, to try to become famous or something. And now I feel like properly equipped and well prepared because I know who I am. And um, I get to tell a lot of stories from a mature perspective, not like a party perspective, not like an irresponsible perspective, but something that is kind of like maybe a little bit wiser, but still fun. Anyway, I got to focus on this test. At this point, I'm thinking that the, that the essay question, is it a loss? Am I taking the L? No, I can still, I can still figure this out. Back to the library I go for the next 20 minutes or so because where where was I planning on studying in the building that I have class in? Like, there's nowhere to study. I gotta go to the library and just sit down in the little lobby area and study right now. Let's check how many views we have first. 159. Bro. Period. Tell me that the background right now doesn't look like Love at First Sight by Kylie Minogue, the music video the gray background, and I think there's there's orange and white, right, in that video, but there's green too, is there not? Oh, I'm wearing orange. Um, I'm starting to, I'm starting to smell the effects of me not wearing deodorant. Like, I am literally gonna go back home and make sure I amend this. Okay, I'm probably not gonna go back home and amend this. Um, so I'm gonna take the L on that, but. <sighs> I have 34 minutes to study. I have to have ADHD, right? I think, I don't know. <laughs> um, it's not ADHD, I'm just procrastinating, honestly, I think. Okay, let me study. But look at that angle. Look at that angle. I was gonna say, Hey, S-I-R-I, -I, but I won't do that, so I won't activate your phones, but you should say, Hey, S-I-R-I, -I, play Love at First Sight by Kylie Minogue, and you should also listen to the acoustic one, um, where she performs it live. You should listen to both, because that's a beautiful song. TBH, I think we got this. Let me tell you why I think we got this, because that studying technique where you just, like, look at it, like, you just... You just look at the material. You don't try to remember it. You just look at it. You just gain familiarity with it. And it's a no pressure approach to studying. You just gotta see the material. And then you relax. And then you, and then you look at it again. And then you relax. And then you look at it again, putting in effort this time. And then you try to start quizzing yourself. You start like looking at it for real, for real. And asking yourself, hmm, the connections. And then you sleep. You sleep it off, you know? And then the next day you look at it again, and you kind of like, you're like, wait a minute, this works. The pieces of the puzzle are coming together. The more days in a row you do that, the better. But if you only got like one or two days to like learn the material, I still think it's effective and it kind of glues to your memory. Like when you go through a sleep cycle or whatever, like how some people say, but also just like the no pressure approach to studying, it works. It works. I don't know how I'm gonna do on the writing one. 
because I didn't really do that technique with the writing with the writing prompts, but we'll see. Envisioning, manifesting, an A. 165 views. This is my moment. And then you gotta try to like take the moment and make that minute a career for a lifetime. Period. Sometimes I think of people who are younger than me, like, okay, so there's people who are younger than me, like, by a little bit, and there's people who are barely entering life, and I think of how, like, um, sometimes we think, like, oh, to be young again, I mean, to be young again, like, I don't know how, how far are we thinking back, because, um, yes, there's so much opportunity ahead of you, but... There's a lot of growing pains ahead of you, too. There's a lot... Uh, the climb is still all ahead of you. You know, the, the figuring out your identity, figuring out what you want to do. And that could be a lot. To anyone who's really young, um, I'm not saying that it's bad to be young, because it's not. It's good. Uh, you have everything ahead of you, and you have so many decis decisions to make and so much opportunity. But at the same time, when people are older and they say, like, uh, oh, you know, they make it like the grass is greener on the other side to Type thing of like oh to be young yes it is great to be young and it's a blessing and I'm still young thankfully and I think anyone can like look within to find their youth and to um, you know satisfy their childlike self but there's also a lot to do um, you know when you're growing up that um, sometimes might feel uncomfortable or confusing gaining familiarity with the world in general is something that is a long process that could be, you know, quite uh, overwhelming um, if it were all just in one, one lump sum. So I just want to say like, uh, you know, the grass is not greener on the other side. When you're little, you want to be older. And when you're older, you want to be little again. Um, I, when you're older, you want to be young again. I prefer to say that instead of be little because be little is like not a good word. Like when it's one word be little as two separate words like be space little okay that's fine but like be little as one word is not a good word anyway um yeah when you when like the grass is not greener on the other side we got to like we got to take the moment you know what i mean we got to optimize the moment we got to like depending like i don't know how old y'all are but depending on your age you're going to have to take the opportunities and um take that moment like for you, you know what I mean? Like, like maybe, maybe you're older and you're acting too mature, and then maybe you're younger and, um, what is it called? Like, maybe you're older and you're acting too mature and you want to embrace your child like self again, or maybe you're really young and you are like, wait a minute, let me start growing up in these certain ways so that I could optimize my life, uh, assume responsibility of things, and really take charge of, like, all the opportunities that I have, um, you know, not everything, hey, not everything is always like business, not everything is always like commerce and everything and so serious, but sometimes we do got to take charge, I got to take charge of my finances, you know what I mean, and grow up in that way, and then in other ways, it's like, we got to maintain our youth too, you know, and not just like physically, but emotionally, internally, like, there are some things that we grew up liking, like, I grew up loving music, and now I get to live my dream as a musician. Um, and that's really satisfying my childlike self. Especially because growing up, I also used to do a lot of creative things with my mom. And I get to do creative things for always. Like, that's my life, you know? So um, that satisfies my childlike self. But also just like, you know, uh, I haven't gone to like... Um, I have gone to Build-A-Bear like once or twice. Um, I've gone to the Lego store. But, like, just, like, you know, watching Toy Story or um, going to the Lego store or Build-A-Bear or something cute like that and just, like, thinking of all the things that you used to enjoy growing up or just the little moments and stuff like that, that is a really sweet and fun process, too. It's like a little getaway, you know, like an emotional little getaway, like a little vacation. So always, like, get back in touch with you. Anyway, I have a test right now, and I'm, like, completely just, like um talking over here to the vlog that's th honestly it's because that's important to me if i'm doing it it's because it's important to me so let me go take my test i already need to pee
um, I already need to pee and tell me why I'm stepping into the grass so that I can vlog but uh, talking about like being young or older or whatever um, if you're younger I don't know how young the viewers are that watch this but maybe you have like maybe you're watching this and you have siblings who are watching um, seize the opportunity to be irresponsible and have fun when you're little not when you're not when you're uh, in your teen years um, or anything but like your lack of responsibility like um, you know not needing to go to a job yet or uh, need to do certain things like during the summer like when you're just a kid have fun playing tag and um, that's just that's that should be a sport tag should be a sport freeze tag I was really good at that and it's only like common among like kids um, but that is something that will reawaken my child self childlike self because by the way, I have a story on how my teeth got straight because of that. Basic, okay, I'll tell you guys the story. So basically, I was 18 and I was playing tag, or 17 or 18 and I was playing tag with the kids in the neighborhood, right? And so basically, I'm like running at the speed of light. I'm like, y'all are never gonna catch me. There's no effing way. And then I run into a pole. Thankfully, I had like a loop thing around it or something because you're supposed to like grab onto it and like slide down or whatever. Anyway, I run myself into a pole and I hit my teeth hard and immediately they get wiggly like slightly wiggly and they start bleeding and I'm just like and it like my lip gets like swollen or whatever and I start crying and whatnot and um then I'm like oh no I'm thinking like what if my tooth falls all because I wanted to like show off you know what I mean um anyway my teeth ended up being a little bit straighter because of that this these two in particular in the front on the top right and um, I remember that day, it was like 2013 or 2014, and my parents had bought taqueria. Um, they bought uh, like uh, tacos with baked potato and um, charro beans, and there was lime and salsa, of course. And I was like, dang, like I was really trying to enjoy the food, but I was kind of like, oh, dang, it kind of hurts, you know what I mean? Um, and I was like, dang, the day that they bring taqueria, and I F myself up, like with my teeth, you know what I mean? They ended up coming out straighter, thankfully. Um, but don't try that at home because results may vary. Results may vary greatly. So don't, don't like, if you have a slight, you know, like a little bit of like um, crookedness in your teeth, don't try to like run yourself into a pole like um, but while playing freeze tag. And another thing is like um, some people like, they don't even like, don't feel like, self-conscious or uh insecure about that like we all have our things like um that make us feel like oh i wish this were like you know perfect or i wish my nose were, were pointier or this or that and it's just like um to be honest there's a lot of different beauty that comes from a lot of different people and you don't need to fit in now if you want it for yourself go ahead and get it but you don't need to fit in anyway i need to take this test i don't even know what time it is now look let me check let me check 10.53, and I need to pee. Oh, that rhymes. Okay, I'm Dr. Seuss or what? Okay, let me go inside. 178 views. Yes. 178 views. Okay, the test is in four minutes. So, I'm done with my test. I think I slayed that ish. I think I slayed it. Um, there, the multiple choice answers and questions, like, I think I slayed it. Um, the next part, what was it? Um, open-ended, I think I slayed it also, period. Every one of those, I think I got. The essay question, girl, hanging by a thread, boo. Um, cause I didn't, I wasn't able to answer, like, uh, four or six causes of emotions and moods, like, nope. I wasn't able to, um... I just noted two of them. I said, and I guessed on this. I said like, mm, uh, like emotions and moods can affect our or something. I don't even know. It was like attitude. Attitudes can affect our emotions and moods. That's what I said. I don't know if that's one hundred percent true, um, according to the book. And then I said, weather is not able to affect our mood or emotions. Um, it's illusory or whatever. Like it's an illusion. You know what I mean? Uh, contrary to what maybe we once thought, which is like that it did. You know, sustained weather changes, I think, can affect us. Like, think about how we lose vitamin D um, when, like, it's persistently 
um, cloudy outside and cold and we're wearing sweaters and everything and maybe our body can't get vitamin D, I think like that does affect us and it could lead to like depression or something if you don't have vitamin D for a sustained period of time. But according to the book, I just answered it the way it was supposed to be. And then um, I smell like Badusi or whatever effing Carlos and Angie were talking about the other day. Oh my gosh, I'm literally going to go to the restroom and wipe down my armpits with a napkin, with a wet napkin because like I don't want it to go through mm, even more. Literally onion, like hard onion like red onion like spicy onion dang like what the f like probably because i was nervous for the test also because i didn't shower yesterday but like usually i don't smell that much um but it's like right now i do smell so let me go take care of that situation in the restroom and then also i have to pee like i have been needing to pee since before uh the test so let me go figure that out you know, right now I was in the restroom cleaning my armpits and <laughs> um, someone with spray deodorant needs to rescue me, okay? I'm gonna post that on my Instagram now. Um, okay, so I was thinking of songs that I wish I would have written that I wish were in my discography that are not. So let's say Can't Stop Loving You becomes a hit. Let's just, let's just put that out there. I believe it, I could see it, I can affirm that, right? I've put in a lot of work. Let's say, let's say that that becomes a hit. I was just thinking how that is like an amalgamated title like those two the two songs that I listened to um to Kylie Minogue when I was younger were Can't Get You Out of My Head and um Love at First Sight and Can't Stop Loving You is like a an amalgamated title of those two but I didn't do that intentionally right and it's not copyright infringement either period because it's just it's just a new title right but I was thinking of Kylie Minogue because I'm like dang I would have loved she she did this perfectly she she slayed it right she she did the best job um and it came out good and I get to enjoy the the content right but um so I love it but her song uh things we do for love I wish that's like one of those hypothetical situations where I say like I wish that would have been my song okay like, I wish I would have written that. I wish I would have been the performer of it. I mean, I could do a cover, right? But no, Kylie did it best. So, um, Kylie does it best. So, here's here's the other one that I wish I would have written that would have been in my discography. Um, uh, All the Girls We Loved Before by Taylor Swift. That one, she effing slays it, right? And I wish I would have written that song. I wish that would have been in my discography. Um, Another one that I think of is uh, Haven't Met You Yet or Just Haven't Met You Yet by Michael Buble. I really like that song. I don't know if I quite say, like, I would... Like, honestly, his voice is perfect for that song. Like, so only he does it best, right? But for me, I'm, like, in a hypothetical situation where I have to say, like, I would want someone's song to be mine that I made or, like, I wish I would have had this in my discography um, or written that. Like, that's one of those songs that I... It just comes to the top of my mind, too. I don't, like, actually, like, uh, following through with that. Like, that's why, that's why, honestly, these artists who did the songs are the best at it because they followed through with the idea. If I had the idea, would I have followed through with it? I don't know, but I have my own, which, like, one day, some other artists, they're gonna be like, hmm, I wish I would have written that. Like, I guess we all have those gems every once in a while that someone would maybe hypothetically say, like, I wish I would have written that. I wish I would have came up with that idea, that lyric. I wish that would be in my discography type thing. So... I'm looking forward to that. To the, I'm looking forward to fan cam edits of the vlog. I'm looking forward to TikTok edits. I'm looking forward to people eventually saying, like, I wish I would have written so-and-so, such-and-such song by Brandon Aqua and had that in my discography. By the way, I see Cinderboy over there. He's chilling out there. Let me show you guys. Did Anthony come to rescue Cinderboy? Because Cinderboy is out here. Here he is. He's here again. He's revived. We love Cinderboy out here. B X T C H E S is love Cinderboy. Period. 
I've been saying uh, manifest riches and bad bitches, but to be honest, I don't want anyone that I would com- like. I don't want anyone who I would characterize as a B word. I would like a nice guy, a sweet, handsome, uh, what is it called? Heroic, brave, um, intelligent guy. Not a B word. I'm thinking empathetic, kind, nice. I can make a list of positive qualities. Good with young people, good with old people, good with every type of person. Um, Thoughtful, all those words, all those good words. Very proactive in engaging um, with people, communicating with people, reading between the lines between the lines understanding things i think there used to be a show there used to be a show called between the lions or something i don't know they had like a partnership with chick-fil-a when i was a kid and they would give out cds about that um i really don't know exactly what it was about but let me see dang so i need someone with spray deodorant to save me yes i do um it is what it is at least i kind of like cleaned my armpits a little bit so It's not so intense, but dang, like, I need to remember to wear deodorant and my body spray, you know? Especially on days like this where I'm like, oh my gosh, I have a test to take, you know? Is this not the cutest from Invader Zim? And then it says, be happy. And then it says, be happy. That is just, like, the cutest ever. I don't want to throw the newspaper away, so I'm going to go give it back. But I just did a little answer for the uh, vaquero voice thing and I think it was pretty cool. They asked like um, what do you do when you're stressed out? I eat hot Cheetos I spend money irresponsibly and I binge watch manifestation videos on YouTube. At least we're not binge watching astrology videos on YouTube anymore because that was I'm sorry but that was too much. That was too much but um, yeah those are my things that I do when I'm stressed out and we would like to minimize them of course So, returning the newspaper is probably rude, so I didn't do that, because um, they probably take a lot of pride in the newspaper, so I just left it on the table. Someone will probably pick it up and read it, but I'm not the type to read that or to carry around paper like that, you know? I wish you could see this from my perspective on the camera, because it's tracking his eye on the autofocus system. It's tracking the little peanut character's eye, which is really cool. Dang, they're playing Rihanna loud AF. But let me tell y'all, with voice isolation, because I'm going to have to voice isolate this. This is my in. This is my effing in. Like, this video? Her. I don't want to go to my snooze fest class. Um, There's still 27 minutes. It's 1.33. I don't want to go to that class. And I don't need to go because I'm famous. Rich and famous. Period. Just kidding. I think that that's a mistake a lot of people make is that they think that sometimes they're too good to learn. They, They don't need to learn more. But that's not the case here. The case here is that this video that I have is it finna pop off. The I just can't stop loving you video. And I'm so excited for that opportunity and that moment. And Anna texted me. um, She literally texted me now, bro. Like she texted me a while ago, like 17 minutes ago. But as I said that, literally my phone, literally, I'm not going to show y'all. But you you guys got to believe me. I'm not going to show her username. But it literally says, it literally says now. She literally texted me now as I said that. Okay, so she texted me. And we're going to work. So let's see what's up. I think we're going to work. I think. Um, So let's see what's up. So I'm late to class, but is this not the cutest sticker ever? Perfect. How cute. Oh my gosh. So being upset is not a valid reason to neglect our goals. Um, And right now I was in political science and they bring up topics that are, I guess you could say, unfavorable or... Yeah, I don't like talking about certain things um, that are, like, really negative and everything. But that's the class, right? And um, basically, 
um, that paired up with like maybe a little bit of irritability for some reason I don't know I'm like feeling a tendency to like be annoyed today and that's not right like to be annoyed by people isn't right or to be judgmental and feel that way like I'm not expressing that but like even internally um, I don't like that that's not that's not the deal that's not the vibe that we're going for um, and so I'm like well what is the root of my issue the root of my issue is, well, I don't like uh, certain topics that are really, you know, not in my range to, like, speak on or whatever. But other than that, I'm just hungry. And I'm. this is not a joke. Literally, I think I'm hungry. And um, the thing is, like, Chick-fil-A fries, that's not going to satisfy my health needs or my m- nutritional needs. But um, there have been times where I have just gone without eating just because there are things that don't fit the descriptors of what is like nutritionally valuable to me. And I think that that is not the move either. I think I should probably eat. And so that will be strike two on Chick-fil-A of the semester. And that takes us really close to strike three on Chick-fil-A, you know what I mean? Of like eating it uh, three times this semester, which is our our point where we say no um but i'm gonna do what i need to do to take care of me right now because i will have opportunities to get better foods um very soon um yeah and then i'm gonna talk to anna about like uh what job she needs for her event and i'm excited for that i'm gonna make sure that we're pricing appropriately and that Um, I'm delivering a service that is high quality, so making sure to emphasize that she'll be getting a a 10-bit 4K file, um, making sure things sound good and look good, that's very important to me. No more Chick-fil-A line. Um, Basically, I just uh, go ahead and sign up for Grubhub. This is not an ad. I just do Grubhub, right? I've never downloaded that app, to be honest. Um, I download it, and then I order it on the phone, and we don't have to stand in line, thankfully. So, we don't have to subject ourselves to that. So, we got the order right here. I wish there was cilantro on the side. I wish that this were a Mexican restaurant that I was ordering from, LOL. This one's really light pink. I can't even see it on the viewfinder, but it says, you are worthy. It's really pretty. I hadn't seen this before. Cliff Builders Protein Bar. Um, they had chocolate. I think they had chocolate peanut butter or something like that. And then they have this chocolate mint one. And I'm finna try it. It's gluten-free and plant-based. So let's check it out. I bet it's gonna be delicious. Want some? No, thank you. But it's so good. Yay, they stopped playing the music. So here's the thing. I was going to say here's the deal, but I keep saying that. Well, it's fine to say that. Excuse me, I burped. Um, it's fine to say that, but I just say it so much. Here's this Cliff, Builder, Cliff Builders Bar protein. 20 grams of protein. Um, in chocolate mint. They had chocolate and they had chocolate peanut butter or something like that. And basically, um, it's gluten-free, complete plant-based, low-glycemic, non-GMO. Let me tell you, I didn't even know this existed. And I'm really glad that I was able to get it because today I ate Chick-fil-A fries, which, that's a whole mess. And then I was like, hmm, I'm gonna buy Hot Cheetos. But then I was like, with my last three dollars of the day, I'm gonna buy Hot Cheetos? No way. So I ended up finding this. It was like it never existed, and then suddenly it exists. Because I was like, there's no way that I'm going to spend my last $3 of the day on Hot Cheetos. There's just no effing way. So, I ended up finding this and I feel so much more fulfilled with this. Maybe it's not the healthiest snack, but it's absolutely more healthy than Hot Cheetos, for sure. Oh, the copyrighted music is back, so... Well, 
I just had the funnest time recording hummingbirds in slow motion. I recorded their clips in 120p, um, I mean 1080p, 120, yeah, progressive, I guess you could say, um, 120 frames per second. I gotta come back when there's different kinds of lighting, um, like when I can front light them so that we can really emphasize their detail and their beauty. Very cool. I could have um, used this lighting. I could have lit myself this way and it would have been more pleasant. Um, but yeah, I had the greatest time filming the hummingbirds in 1080p and um, 1080p 120 frames per second. And I cannot, I'm very enthused. I was gonna say I can't wait, but I prefer to say I'm very enthused to view the footage and see what we got. Cause maybe the, the monitor isn't doing it justice right now because we're, it's kind of sunny outside but maybe those clips look really good. We're back in 4K 30 frames per second for the vlog though. So we got the lizard in 120 um, frames per second in 1080p also and now we're back again in 4k 30 frames per second for the vlog and I'm just I'm just uh, testing like what it would kind of be like if we had a 24 millimeter lens because there's a 24 millimeter prime that I'm quite interested in um, and the focal length is kind of very very cropped in um, again this is my kit lens that I'm still using I don't have a prime yet but I'm thinking of getting a prime and I'm like, you know what? This is a very close in crop for vlogging. Too close. So I. So I called a Nokia phone, but I guess the dial up was plugged in. Didn't have anything important to say. I just like attention, wanna talk about nothing. Time is always passing. Now closing, open up my, open up my eyes. What a time to live. Some things never change, some things stay the same. That will never fade. It's a human way, no matter where, no matter what day. Oh, since way back when, before my life began, everybody had a spark in their body that I just got in the 90s, and I thank God for this gift. What a time to live. So I grew up in the 956 where everything is so vibrant, chilling at the park all day, talking about the internet. So cool to me Living my best teen dream Everybody has a spark In their body that we just got And we're learning how to use All our gifts What a time to live Pull out the Kodak Snap, snap, snap Print, smile every picture Cause yes, I love it I'ma be a star someday Have a nice car someday Never worry about rent The light bill paid Walk with a sway, glitter on my face, it's a new day Make a little money, paid, paid, paid Nobody else gon' move this way Talk how you want, move with a group, way with a wink I got my workout in for the day Um, let me see, what else did I do? So basically on the YouTube app, I see that I have 430 something views Um, on my video for Can't Stop Loving You and then, ooh, I like that right there. And then on the actual website, um, on the studio.youtube.com, I'm sure that there are more views, but um, I'll have to check that later. Headed home, gonna eat the leftover rice and beans I have from yesterday, and then I'm gonna cook more. And yeah, today was a productive day. I have class in the AM tomorrow, bro. So for this semester, we have Crossroads. Um, and we also have uh, one big pleasant surprise recording. Um, but I had already written that. And then we have the newest addition to the group. We have um, Can't Stop Loving You. 
Um, I stayed out quite late, so, you know, I have class tomorrow morning, gotta wake up super early, and I know I'm not gonna just go home and go to sleep right away. So, let me go home. I already, up, I already put my um, SD card stuff onto the computer, which is good. So, we got that done. Did I get my homework done for um, my music class? No, and I got a reminder of that, so... Yep. It is what it is. Not me clicking stop record and then clicking record right away. But honestly, you put your time into what you think is important. And your actions, they speak loudly, you know? I don't know about no actions speak louder than words type thing, but really your actions tell you what you're thinking, you know? You should be thinking your action. You should be thinking and then doing your actions, but sometimes your actions tell you what you are thinking and what you think are your priorities. You know, we should be thinking into our actions. Like, we should think and then act. But sometimes our actions tell us what we're thinking. And if I'm getting chronically late to class, that means that while it might be important to me, it's not the most important thing to me. And it should be because school is what allows me to be here, you know? And what makes this vlog possible and making all these friends possible. So I should really prioritize that. But yes, I get chronically late to school. But you know what? It's not that late. It's not that bad, you know? And I'm having fun. You know, I'm a rule follower. I already told you guys this. But sometimes it's okay to bend the rules a little bit. I mean, I don't think I'm disrespecting anyone. It might be disrespectful to the teacher, you know? But um, I'm still showing up and respecting his rules. I'm not like disrespecting his rules or anything. I'm just showing up late. And it's because, yes, I put this vlog first and um, I put my music first. Actually, I should put my music even more first. I should put my music top tier up there, you know? And if I did, maybe my results would be uh, even more plentiful and bountiful. Honestly, um, I'm... Voice over Brandon here. Basically, my camera battery ran out right here. I'm eating a granola bar. It's so good. I don't want to take a shower, but I have to because I worked out today. Today I did arm, chest, and back day. Um, I didn't do pectoral flies or chest presses because those... No, 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 I did chest presses. I didn't do the tricep one because those things were occupied. The pectoral flies and the tricep machine. Um, so... What I was talking about on Instagram is dethroning people from the billboard charts, some of my contemporaries, and taking their spot, unless their name is Taylor Swift, Kylie Minogue, Cher, some other people. Um, J. Cole, I really respect. Um, but anyone else, I will gladly take their award, take their billboard chart position. Well, I'm lying when I say anyone else, because I made a whole list of artists. And of course, I forgot some names in there too that like, I really respect. That taught me a lot. And not me poking my nose. Today I went to the library bookstore and I was like this, like scratching my nose, not thinking that anyone was gonna be like to the side of me. And sure enough, someone was there sitting down on their laptop looking straight up at me when I was doing that. I don't know if she was looking straight up at me, but anyway, so here's the thing. Um, yeah, so billboard, hit me up, hit my line. I'm on the top 10, yes, right? When I get mainstream, it's like, boom. You know what I mean? Like, boom, 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 kaboom, boom, boom. Like, we finna get, like, super, like, um, famous and mainstream, and my fans, Mouse Gang, are gonna be doing really good for me and getting me on the charts. And if you're from the Rio Grande Valley, or you're a local artist, or maybe you have, like, a really positive message and you're not from the Rio Grande Valley, well then, more power to you, but right now, the state of music is in shambles. I mean, the ones, no, 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 I'm not even gonna say it. I was gonna, I was gonna quote someone, um, but nah, I will not quote that person. So, uh, yeah, I gotta take a shower. 
I don't want to take a shower. Oh, here's what I was going to tell you guys. The biggest blessing that I forgot to tell you guys, or maybe I already told you, I don't know. I, I just filmed so much. But my tooth, the side of my mouth, doesn't hurt anymore. And I'm thankful. Thank you, God, for allowing this side of my mouth to heal. And I don't feel tooth pain or anything here, which I'm really thankful for because last week it was a challenge. Okay, let me take a shower. By the way, yes, I was going to stop filming right there, but hold up. It's like 11.20 already, and I have class in the morning. I have to wake up at 7.50-something. That's some shenanigans. It is Monday, September 25th, 11.18 p.m. Got a shower now. Props to Apple, by the way, for the iOS 17 sounds. Um, like when the timer goes off, the sound is really nice. So props to you, Apple, and whoever worked on that. Like that's, it's a really nice sound. Yo, Mouse Gang, we got to 523 views and we're at 3.9 watch hours. 3.9 watch hours on a two minute, 34 second video. That's a pretty big accomplishment. So on the YouTube studio, well, not this YouTube studio app, but look, let me show you guys on the YouTube app. Um, on the YouTube app, you see how we have 491 views on this video, 492 views on this video. Can't stop loving you, slow pitch down lyric video, right? But then over here, we can see that it has 523 views. And you know what, if I refresh it, Maybe there's already even one more of you. Okay, not yet, but um, pretty good performance on this video. I'm really thankful. For a song we came up yesterday, with yesterday, like that's cool. It's been maybe 10 minutes and we've gotten to the 4.0 hour watch time mark. And we're at 530 views. Thank you guys, you're the ones who support me. Thank you. I don't know, wait, I don't know why I wait till almost midnight to be sad and existential, but even while listening to my music, I'm being existential and I'm thinking about life and how, how big this world is and how small this world is and how temporary everything is and how I just love life and want to be there for my family and how sometimes when I'm in the midst of searching for my own self-actualization, I'm not spending a lot of time with the people that I love the most and you know the music can always be worked on later but the family like we we all as humans only have limited time on earth but yeah I get sad and stuff and I think of that but then I'm like wait a minute I can make a better life if I work on music but then sometimes I get sad anyway because I'm like I know that that can contribute to a better life for all of us and honestly it's the only way that I can have enough um, money to like make sure that we can all have like opportunity for us but um, like honestly the only way that I'll get like the family all together or not all together but be able to spend more quality time with them as if I'm successful in what I do because I have to make money to make that happen because if not everyone has to do their own thing and make their own money and maybe struggle here and there and it's like if I can just be my best self and express myself to the fullest and make music then I can uh what is it called be successful for the sake of the family and and um, spend more time with them and quality time and giving them what they deserve, the experiences, food, opportunities, um, just like the lives the lives that they deserve, you know, good stuff. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me take a shower. I have to poop and then take a shower. Look at that. 
a real time update. We're at 539 views, y'all. Thank you guys. It says 535 over here, but over here it says 539. And if I refresh the page, let's see what happens. We are at 540 views. Thank you guys. Okay. We're at five. Oh, okay, okay. It's, I was like, we went backward to 539 views. Wait a minute, the focus is going rogue. I was like, wait a minute, how we go to 539? Like, how did we go back one? But here it says 541, and over here it says 541 too. Thank you guys. This is a little trio that I must remember tomorrow. Deodorant, perfume, and body spray. Isn't it just a little bit strange how we sometimes complain about being tired and we're not giving our body enough sleep sometimes and it's like we expect to power through a 24 hour day. I mean, we're not awake 24 hours, but we expect to power through a 24 hour day. And what we're doing is only going to sleep eight or less hours a day and expecting to have energy to run and be fast and work out and laugh and have fun yes the good stuff but also like stress and overexert energy where it doesn't need to be exerted on things that other people desire of us to act like and and we go through our day acting as a persona instead of just being ourselves and that would take so much less energy and the energy it would take, it would be worth it, you know? But we go through the day with lack of sleep, eating Chick-fil-A fries or whatever the F our silly snack food is and we expect so much of our bodies and it's kind of like ungrateful to like um, sleep so little and give our bodies so little nutrition sometimes and so little rest and expect our body to like feel good during a workout and run all quick and and do all this stuff like oh stomach growling um i gotta take care of my body we gotta take care of our bodies it's our vessel and our temple for good and our mind and is beautiful and our souls are beautiful and we gotta really take care of ourselves and each other you know so that's my message of the day and um, today I had ups and downs and I just wanted to share that with you even when I had downs and was overthinking ugly things and you know feeling stressed out after class and feeling like annoyed with people I really want for us to understand that like I don't want to just pick up the camera and talk about things when things are perfect because like it's not that that's not relatable and that's the problem is that it's not relatable because my goal isn't to be relatable. My goal is to be the baddest B-I-T-C-H on the block. Okay, that's not my goal either, but um, <laughs> my goal is just like for us to gain a greater understanding of us and mental health and humanity and um, and how to grasp our mental health and how to take care of our physical health too and I want for us to be able to do that like as a community so when I'm struggling I want you to know because I want you to know what we're working with here you know like um I was gonna say something copywritten from uh, you know the song the where Missy Elliott says something backwards um well, that song, I was gonna say that. So insert audio here in your brain, in your imagination, because I'm not gonna insert it because girl, that's copyright infringement, girl. Um, because I was saying, is it worth it? Or wait, no, I didn't say that. I said <laughs> what we're working with here. And then in the song, she says, is it worth it or something? Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Is it worth it? Well, it's only copyright infringement if I say seven or seven or more words from there. So I just quoted it, a little piece, and then the rest of the song, you'll have to look up. But it made me think of that. Anyway, so um, 
yeah, I want you guys to see the ups and downs. My stomach keeps making silly noises. I want you guys to see the ups and the downs because, you know, everything is a work in progress. And if I come on here and I just say I have the most perfect life and and I'm always thinking positive and I always have a smile on my face, that's wonderful and I love that for me. But we need to be real with each other and actually... We need to actually talk about how we feel, not how we just want to like present ourselves. Like we don't want to just be acting all the time. We got to like be real and um like there's no other way for me to explain it other than uh, this shirt, this purple shirt matches my contact lenses. Look at how pretty they are. And my toothbrush kind of cuz the toothbrush is pink. And then my contacts. They're right there. Little overexposed. I got a burp. <clears throat> okay, good night. Cuz it's already 1. Oh my gosh. I have to wake up at 8 and go to class. Honestly, I might effing skip it. I don't give enough at this point. My body needs sleep and it needs sleep and, and I'm gonna take care of my body first. <laughs> girl, bye to that. Not girl, bye to my body. I love my body. Um, girl, bye to the class, boo. <laughs> but the thing is, no, I think like, um, I'm gonna go to class, but... <sighs> Look, if I don't get there on time, well then I can't get attendance. So yeah, girl, bye to the effing going to class tomorrow i'ma just go to sleep and if i wake up from my alarm on time okay good and if i feel good then i'll wake up and i'll go to class and if i don't girl bye girl bye to that boo Ooh. anyway i love this camera nikon z30 taking videos of hummingbirds today was so much fun i want to go with different lighting and Okay, now I gotta go to sleep for real, for real. Transition here. Let's see if I remember the transition tomorrow, LOL.